Welcome to Present Poetry, a podcast where we sit back, relax, and enjoy some poets of the past and present. I'm your host, Erin Crittenden, and before we get started on this week's episode, I want to remind you that all of the material used in this podcast is either public domain or used with permission from the author or the author's estate. It's a fun time for all ages, so sit back, relax, and get ready to hear this week's featured poet. This week's featured poet is A.S. Coomer. A.S. Coomer is a writer and musician who was commissioned a Kentucky colonel for his social and creative work. His books include Birth of a Monster, The Fetishist, Songs for Leaving, Flirting with Disaster, Shining the Light, Memorabilia, and many others. He also runs Lost, Long Gone, Forgotten Records, a quote-unquote record label for poetry. You can follow him at ascoomer.com, which will be linked in the show notes. We are reading some of his poems, which he submitted to us through the form at presentpoetry.com. This poem is called Elegy for J and J. May you rest easy with sunlight kissing the backs of your hands. Celestial fingers need no fretboard calluses. The strings ring, reverberating echoes stretching back over themselves, pulled close like a cloak, turn inward while hurtling out. A new pinprick luminescence in the quilted purple dawn. May you rest easy, weightless and free. You told us it was all crazy. The sun was so far away, but it could still burn you, and everyone laughed, but you didn't. No, you lived that. May you rest easy, knowing the sun is so far away, but it can't burn you. It's all dying, the living, chock full of it, the dying. At first in parts, tiny pieces so minuscule they're not initially missed, but silt stacks, and we're softer than clay, even the hardest of us. Then it's hell and haymakers, a flash flood of it, the living, right here in the rising waters, eating with it, working in it, carrying it to bed whenever sleep can be stolen, waking with it higher up the walls than ever before. May you rest easy, drowning no more. May you rest easy, beyond making amends. May you rest easy, a surety achieved. May you rest easy, beyond need, beyond desire, beyond degradation, remorse, shame, beyond that pale, grinning, sanguine king, suffering. May you rest easy, with wildflowers behind your ears. May you rest easy, surrounded by beauty, smelling of milkweed, tobacco, and coffee. May you rest easy, with a harmonica in the key of C, free of debris and ready, for the bending of reeds, the mic right there in front of you, waiting for folly or grace. May you rest easy, lovingly weeding the garden of your dreams, a wash and bird song. May you rest easy, whistling along the Ottawa, skipping songs like stones across the muddy Maume, leaving petals for others to pick. This poem is called Flirting with Disaster. My mother lost everything she owned, twice, in house fires. She smokes like a goddamn chimney, always has. I guess we all flirt with disaster in our own terms. I tend to spend too much time alone. I'm not good on my own. You see, I got these itchy fingers and bad ideas. I got this circling mind and backload upon backload of misplaced time, and it all makes me cringe. I guess we all flirt with disaster in our own terms. I know people with fixations. Addictions come in many shapes and sizes. It's not all brown bottles and little plastic baggies. They tend to bumper car through life, shielded, however scantily, by ideology, belief, substance, or everyday wishful thinking. 
leaving a little tread here, a little rubber bumper there, until they're skating, as the old proverb goes, on thin ice. I guess we all flirt with disaster in our own terms. And isn't this sounding like a song? Something loud, bluesy, abrasive, sweating right along with the cheap, domestic light beer on top of the rattling, busted amp? I'd make it one if I could play lead, but I've always been out here, on the offbeat, in a jerk and sway rhythm section no one wants to listen to anyway. Sing it, brother. Yeah, all right. Just not tonight, okay? This poem is called Portage. The morning opens like an overused cardboard box. Soggy flaps flop, slip open, let in meager filtered light, illuminating mostly emptiness. The crumbs of moves past, of place and forget, of a life boxed, taped, and carried. Intention and memory. The double-flavored gum stuck on soul, tracked through new carpet, and the endless portage of old things, soon to be forgotten. Out of place, out of time, out of mind. This poem is called Now a Tree. Live discursive. Chase the shadows back to their source. Hope for the flicker of warmth and not engulfing wildfire. Embrace the chase of neon thread through gales and hail, pale twisters blinking black, throwing houses to disintegrate like grains in the colored wind. Absolute danger every second. Truth a dull dagger that rips slowly, serrated with rusted pinwheeling scythes, a whole horizon of them, bloody glints in the forked lightning, knifing down before cutting up. Spit grisly rain in the used napkin of now, pain and absorption served up cold and reaching on a handmade dinner table of splintering oak. Rejoice in the presence of the beloved, even if barbed with rejoinders, for there's always a storm in the forecast. A wall can't stand forever, and these were slipshod from the get-go. Hold on to them as long as you are able. Make furniture from the shards of rubble. New cloth will eventually molder. Sew the salvageable remnants of kith and kin together like the quilt home really is. This poem is called A Thunderstorm Nocturne. Dusk sky, a sly slight of shaky hands. Finger bones buzzing like the back alley fillings in mama's head. Forked tongue, lightning, lights up that impending, impressionistic swirl. An ugly green smear bleeds turgid purples and vicious, lascivious pinks send pains, shivers racing up the curved, ridged valley of your back. Straight stands the hair, each follicle vibrates, pores moan, thrust out more root, blood flood, skin pulled tighter than the crushing weight of the hungry, mile-wide, muddy river. Whisper singing, glinting, flint, hints of a longed-for infinite reprieve a slip in the stream in which to silently slip between. Become busted rattle shaken by baby raging thunder, every storm a tired tyrant lashing out, rib cage quakes like Pentecostal floorboards, heart quilt stitch snags, catches on another nameless briar, fear as poisoned as the slurry dripping down the mountain, dirtying the stream, ruining the well, Swelling thunder, a great rending stretching over itself, and no breath to be had until it's torn. Rain flung like hot, glossolious spit, perishing in an isolating spirit, the way snot bubbles before it dries. This Ouroboros handles itself, sings its own prayer, choking absolution, and I've always wondered, while in the wilds I've wandered, is thunder an answer? or an overheard conversation. 
Thank you for listening to this week's episode of the Present Poetry Podcast. If you enjoyed the show, feel free to like us, leave a review, or share us on social media. If you are a poet or you know someone who is, we would love to hear from you. You can reach out to us or submit your work through our website, which is www.present-poetry.com. Again, that is www.present-poetry.com. We can't wait to hear from you.